Do you play video games a lot? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm somebody who spends about six hours every day playing video games. I say unfortunately because sadly society frowns upon that, but I'm somebody who really likes to play video games. For me, it's not uh, an unfortunate thing. It's something that gives me joy, it's something that entertains me, and other people can think that it's wasteful, but I love it. I, I, I like spending my time playing video games. When was the last time you played a video game? Well, since I was preparing for a test for the last two weeks, I actually haven't played any video games so that they wouldn't distract me. So the last time I played a video game was two weeks ago, and I played a strategy game. Actually, a city-building game, to be precise, but it's a, a strategy game. What type of video games do you like to play? Well, I mostly like strategies because they make me think um, playing a strategy is like solving a puzzle, a really interesting puzzle. And I really like puzzles. And also in strategy games, uh, you have to build something. I mean, you usually have to build a base or you have to build up a city. And that for me is really pleasant and it's really interesting. It's really nice to, to build something. I think it satisfies something deep inside of me, you know, that, that desire to build. Did you play video games together with your friends? Yes, uh, I did play video games with my friends when I was younger. Now I would play the games like soccer or basketball video games uh, because my friends liked to play those video games and, you know, when I, whenever I wanted to play with somebody else, I had to, you know, play those games. But um, I mostly like to play strategy games and sadly my friends didn't like them, so I played those by myself, and I played soccer and basketball with others. Did you ever play an educational video game? There is this course online that uses the game mechanics to teach you a, a language. So yeah, I guess you could call that an educational video game. Uh, the other games that I played were also educational because strategy games usually take place uh, in a period of history. And actually the game teaches you that history as you play it. So I would even go as far as saying that the strategy games are the educational games that, that I played. You will have 60 seconds to prepare, and then you will speak for between 60 to 120 seconds. Start speaking now. The last time I surfed the web was last night. I was visiting a website that uh, helped me prepare for this uh, test that I was going to take. Um, it was a website, uh, actually it was a, 
a few websites that I visited in order to do this. And uh, I was surfing the web for three hours because I spent uh, about an hour on each of these websites. I really wanted to see all of the practice tests that they had and I wanted to read all of the all of the advice that they had when it came to the test and um, to be honest I learned uh, I discovered a lot of uh, uh, tips and tricks and a lot of strategies which I could use during my test and also another thing that I learned is about the d duration of one of the sections of the test I thought that the duration is going to be much longer of uh, when it comes to the listening section of the test that I was going to take but actually the duration was much uh, lower uh, than uh, than I previously thought How has the internet changed our lives? Yes, I would say that the internet has absolutely changed our lives. Uh, the world uh, is never going to be the same again. Basically, everything has been... I wouldn't say it turned upside down when the internet came, but I would definitely say that our world is really different to the one that existed before the internet became really popular. What would you say to someone who says that internet has given us a lot of negative change? I would say to that person that they are wrong. I mean, Number one, we have some negative changes, not many negative changes. Uh, but I would say to them also that we have uh, many more positive changes, that the internet has um, in many ways improved the lives that we are living today and that it's absolutely wrong to say that... Uh, uh, it's wrong to be so negative when it comes to the internet. Do you think there should be some restriction when it comes to internet access? Well, I don't think that everybody should have access to the internet. I mean, everybody should have access to the internet, but some people should have it in a limited capacity. I mean, if you're an adult, uh, you should access the internet without any restrictions and you should be able to go to any website that you want and uh, you should be able to see whatever you want. But if you're not an adult, then I think that some restrictions are required in this case. How will the world change in the future as more people get access to the internet? Well, I think the world will change for the better. I think that uh, education will be uh, accessible. That all the people who will have access to the internet, that they will have access to um, education, that they will have access to information. And I think that this will allow them to live uh, richer and fuller lives and that they will... Um, be able to achieve their goals uh, and that they will prosper more in life. Do you think there will be something in the future that will replace the internet? To be honest, I don't think that something like that will ever exist. I think that we will see an upgraded version of the internet, but the internet will always be the internet. I mean, the only thing that could replace it is maybe some interplanetary network, let's say. I mean, if internet became something that's only um, available on Earth, but there could be some network that allows uh, the future colonies on Mars to be connected to Earth.